Um, I'll try to come up with, uh, with um, or try to shed some light on, oops, that's not going well, on what the difference are uh, or what the difference is between events, tasks, and activities. And um, in case you have never heard those terms, how they relate to the terms that you're used to. And then we can have an hour long discussion on whether those new terms make more sense than the old ones. And then we'll continue that on list and at some point be happy and um, work it out. So this is more or less a, a suggestion. It's, it's also something we have implemented and already um, been pushing on you. So it's in the new admin UI, mostly. Um, but you know the release will be in June, so there's a lot of time to change terms around if, if we agree we want to do that. So no hard feelings either way. So what are we going to talk about? Um, well, we're going to talk about what we're talking about, and then where, <laughs> where do the things we, we are talking about, where did they used to be, and um, where did they move to? And um, also, as a side note, I'll keep this as short as possible, because right after me, um, there will be Christoph um, discussing extended metadata, which is way more important what, what I'm discussing um, right now. And um, he also needs some more time, so I'll keep it short and hand over to Christoph as soon as I can. So a quick glossary, and those are already the new terms or the new suggested terms we're discussing or we're talking about an event. Um, we have been talking about recordings, we have been mentioning media packages. Some people still believe that a media package equals a workflow and so on and so forth. So we're, we started introducing the term event in all those places. So a recording is an event, a media package is an, is an event. We try to, to um, keep that consistent um, in the UI as well as in the documentation. And again, if you feel like recording would be the more appropriate term, just send something to list and convince everyone that you're right. And um, that's it. Um, since there was a lot of confusion about <coughs> workflows and media packages, and some people thought that um, the term workflow would be too technical for end users, um, we were thinking hard. That was almost half of the development time of the admin UI, trying to come up with the right terms. So we came up with the term task for a workflow, and we came up with the term activity for a workflow operation. So for those who are new to Matterhorn, Matterhorn is doing a lot of video processing. Um, it's usually a list of operations that um, represent a workflow. And um, Matterhorn, and I'm explicitly saying Matterhorn because I'm talking about the old way, um, is going through that workflow, stepping through it, um, processing each and every step in that workflow that we refer to, used to refer to as operations and are now calling activities. Where did you find those things in the past? So you went to the old admin UI, and then you went to the recordings tab. And the recordings tab used to focus on workflows. So in Matterhorn, you would, you would be looking at workflows. And um, workflows would be working on events, or recordings, or media packages. And um, so it was a recording-centric view. The problem is that you can have multiple um, recordings processing the same media package. I'll try to use as many terms as I can <laughs> to confuse you all. Um, so you, you could imagine you know, the, the recording is being done, it's being ingested into, into Matterhorn, it is then processed, it's then published. And at some point you get a call from the instructor asking you to take the video down because there was something inappropriate on the, on the slides. So you run another workflow on the same event, take it back down, and then you republish again. And so you have three workflows you know, dealing with the same exact event or media package or recording. And um, we thought that um, this doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, and I'll show you what we did about that. Just real quick, if you wanted to, to look at. So basically, you, you're going to the exact same UI if you want to look at workflows and you want to look at events. And also, most of you have found that little gear icon in the UI that you don't see. It's a bad screenshot, obviously, badly taken. Um, that would show you the workflow operations, slash activities, slash jobs. I'm sure there are other terms um, that are in use. So what's wrong about that, or what, what did we think was wrong about that? 
different people um, are looking at data in a different way. So there's, a, there's probably someone who is, looking, uh, who is interested in what, what recordings are available in a given series. And that person doesn't necessarily <coughs> care about you know, how often that thing has been processed, what the latest workflow was that was applied. They, they want an, uh, an event-centric view. They're interested in the actual assets, you know, what is available. And the second um, thing to keep in mind, um, we um, are talking about Matterhorn as a processing engine sometimes, and we're talking about Matterhorn, or we used to talk about Matterhorn as a asset management system. There are still debates going on whether Matterhorn actually is an, an asset management system, whether it should become one or not. We think it should, which is why, again, was another reason to change the current setup. And in addition, we need um, People need to focus on their point of view, so somebody interested in the processing aspect needs a place to go to to see all the processing. And um, people interested in the assets need a place to go to and focus on the assets. So we thought it might be a great idea um, to take those things apart. So where did things move to? Um, the new admin UI, obviously. Um, we're on the events tab. You see a list of events. And then here you have a column called status which says ingesting failed and another ingesting one. And um, so if you're interested in the actual processing status, you focus on that processing column. Then you can hit up the little gear icon if you're interested in, in like what, what happened to that recording or event or media package. And um, you get to this view. Here you see there's a, there has been one workflow um, obviously uploaded and scheduled. And then somebody ran another workflow called publish. Obviously tried to republish the thing, which failed, by the way. So this is your list of things, of um, tasks that have been applied to that event. If you're interested in even further details, you can hit up the details link. And you now get a list of workflow operations slash activities slash jobs um, that were actually you know, doing some work on, on that event. So we applied default workflow configuration, finalized upload and ingest. At some point, we were tagging and archiving and maybe encoding and so on and so forth. And um, there's another details link. So if you want to go in even further, you can take a look at that one um, operation. And um, well, you can see all kinds of things which I won't won't um, talk about right now. So you can. You start on the event level, the thing is becoming or has become event focused, and then you can go into how was this event processed, and then you get into all the details. It's just the other way around than it used to be before. Now, if you're a systems person, you may be wondering what's actually going on in my system. So you're not interested in um, what events are there, you know, what recordings can I publish or, or take down, um, but you want to know what, what um, the load is. There's another section um, we came up with. This is, um, I should have done that differently. So you hit up that menu and you'll see, a, you'll see a system section. And when you go to that, you can see this list of servers, the list of services, and you can also see a list of jobs, which actually should be called activities. I'm not sure why it's still called jobs. We'll need to sort that out at some point. So we haven't um, done our work completely either. And um, basically, in that list, it will, it will um, grow and shrink dynamically as processing is, is increasing or decreasing on the system. So as a systems person, you would go in here and you would see everything that's, that's going on in your system on, on any node that is forming the OpenCast cluster. Yeah, and that's um, basically it. I hope you're all as confused as it gets. Um, but you've also learned that it's now event-centric and that there's a special section for um, the system workload in general. Any complaints, suggestions, questions? Hello. <laughs> you don't like the color? Okay. <laughs> okay, any questions? Very good. Let's hand over to Christoph then.